Um, all right, so I'm here with Abby Chavez, a fourth year Biola Eagle, member of the women's soccer team, and a nursing major. Today we're here to talk about this mission trip to Japan, um, where some members of our women's soccer team went with the SoCal Seahorses um, to Iwata and Osaka, Japan, to spread the love of soccer and the love of Jesus Christ. Um, Abby, tell me just initially your first takeaways about the trip, maybe what was the high moment for you, um, something that will stick with you that you'll remember forever. Yeah. Um, getting there, I honestly did not know what to expect, but the minute we got to the first church, we were staying with a family in Iwata, and they were just the most hospitable, kindest, most selfless group of people I've ever met. I started to notice this pattern, and I just, that was something that I really wanted to take home with me back to the States. Um, just emulate the love that they had for other people, because it was so Christ-like. And one of the highlights of being there was probably getting to play soccer with these guys. They are so talented, and they really, really gave us a run for our money every single day. And um, even if we got tired or anything like that, getting up and getting to play them was just such an honor and so much fun. And getting to share our testimonies with them afterwards, um, even through the language barrier, um, getting to share what we've been through and how we came out um, with God on the other side and just being able to encourage them in their faith was such an honor. So. Um, Paul Gizzi um, is just amazing, and I'm just so grateful for him being able to lead us, and he did a great job. He's got this thing down to a T after all these years. And just Gil and Brett, just everyone participating in making this, and Lauren going as smoothly as possible and just making it a great trip overall. This is Gizzi's last tour um, with the Biola women's team, so they got to give speeches and pray over each other, and it was just a really beautiful moment uh, seeing and hearing the way that Paul Gizzi had impacted the people over there, and um, just getting to see um, his emotions and how the people over there had poured into him, and it just goes to show how impactful these tours are for both parties. So, and even just getting to see how the people who went there before us had an impact um, on the work we were doing when we went, it was, it was great to see because there are people who 20 years ago, weren't even thinking about Christianity. It was just a soccer group coming to Japan, and now we're seeing God working in their hearts and seeing people coming to Christ. And it doesn't just happen overnight, but being able to see what this Japan tour has done over the years is so incredible and so encouraging um, for me and hopefully for everybody who um, has gone or sees this, because it goes to show that like efforts are worth something. You might not see the fruit immediately. I was giving my testimony on the first Sunday service that we were there and I was able to get up in front of a lot of people and just honestly encourage them the way that I would hope that people would pour into me and encourage me and just share that even though sometimes it's really tough and you feel alone and you don't feel the overwhelming effects of God's presence. He is present and he is working and he hasn't left. And I think that the people of Awada really just needed to hear that message because they are a smaller community. The Christian community in Japan um, is not very big. And so just seeing the way that they were able to just kind of like light up when they heard other people talking about the same God that they believe in and just hearing the the similar beliefs, it was just really awesome to be a part of that. And just seeing how that church had been open for 38 years, and you think about the churches here and how big they are, and that small community has been dedicated for 38 years to sharing the love of God. And getting to be a part of that mission, getting to be a part of their purpose, and it was just so special to me, and I just, I was so grateful. Some of the funniest moments were when we were trying to learn Japanese to try and communicate better and we were at this kids clinic and we didn't, we were just doing our best. We knew konnichiwa, we knew uh, watashiwa, which is my name is, and konnichiwa is hello. And so we were just an arigato, which is thank you. And we were just trying to communicate with these kids. It was maybe day two. And I just remember we were in one of our groups trying to lead and we kept being like, konnichiwa, konnichiwa, trying to say hi to all the kids. And you know, they, they know that we don't speak Japanese. So <laughs> after 
after a couple times they're not responding so we kind of look around and then we say it one more time and this one kid comes running by going konnichiwa konnichiwa like totally just knocking us because I'm sure we were saying it so wrong but it was just really funny to have such a good sense of humor about it and um, they were young but they definitely understood what was going on and so that also uh, was really cool. I think this Japan trip was an incredible bonding experience. I mean, the girls who we met two days before coming in, we got to know so well. And honestly, I'm so excited because I said it on the trip, I'll say it again now. This is such a unique, special, amazing group of girls coming in. I am just so honored to be a part of this team this year. And I genuinely see so much talent, so much potential, and I am just coming out of this trip, I feel so much closer to everybody, um, returners or newbies, and I am just stoked to see where it takes us. I really think with Coach Brett that we're going to develop a lot as individuals, which is going to create a more cohesive team and just an overall better squad. So I am very clearly jazzed about this whole situation, and I just, I couldn't be more grateful. say a big thank you to um, I'm not sure who all is seeing this but I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody who donated or volunteered to drive us or just contributed or prayed for us we felt your prayers over in Japan we are so grateful for everyone who contributed um, special shout out to the staff um, Paul Gil Lauren and Brett um, you guys helped this run so smoothly and put in so much so many hours, so much physical labor, and we are just so grateful to the Biola staff, the people who encouraged us through the whole way, and were thinking about us. So thank you all so much.